Hello, it's Koi, and welcome to the Eclectic Cottage. Thanks for joining me today. It is day six of the 100-day um, project, 2024, and I am in the art room. I have um, spent a little time in here today. I didn't turn the camera on because I was making more beads, or paper beads from yesterday. They're kind of addictive. Um, but I'm going to stop that. I did want to make, it's, I did want to make um, a little something for our two journals. I need to get back to work on them. Um, I haven't looked through them in, in several days. I know the last thing we did was put in pockets and then we have, uh, we have gone in and installed a couple of things that we've done in the last couple days. Uh, but we haven't put our shaker cards in yet. So I thought maybe we might look for a spot in our journal. Journals. No, it needs to go in this way. To install the shaker cards. And then maybe we'll work on a little another little project. Oh, I wonder if that would go right there. No, that's not it. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. These journals are so lovely. I really need to work on, um, on getting uh, the tags put in. All right, that one can go there. And let me just, I just want to kind of remember forget from being away from them for a couple of days how far along we are yeah we're looking good we made this a couple of days ago I think it's one of my favorites I love it and I thought we might today work on I quite often put like a little wraparound pocket ends up being a quadruple pocket four pockets how about here well we could just clip it to the top of a page but we have a lot being clipped in I'm going to put it here for now and about working on a couple of pockets. Okay, the wraparound pockets are pretty simple. If you have been here before, watch me make other journals, you have probably seen this before. It's nothing earth-shaking or um, especially new. But I want them. All right, and I don't really want them to be the same on both sides. So let's do this. All right, so how is everybody doing today? Anybody working on... The 100 day project or maybe anybody trying out some of the little um projects that we've been working on on a couple in the past couple of days it's been fun and today i have to say i've been in the art room a lot today um and no wood chipper I guess they chipped all the wood. And maybe it wasn't. Maybe <laughs> maybe they're not finished with their project. But regardless, I'm just happy to have had a reprieve today. Uh, it was getting old. It was getting old quick. Okay, I want a little something on both sides of this. And what else can we use? What else can we use? No. All 
right, let's use this. I've made so many beads. Those beads are so, um, so addictive. I, when I came and sat down here in the art room, I had all those little pieces of, um, scrap that were still left, still cut into, um, giant triangles. Let me take a quick look here, see how we're doing. Let's see if things are dry. All of these are dry. These are the, the yesterday ones. These are probably dry enough. Let's see what we ended up with. All right. Lots of beads, 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 beads. They might not be 100% dry, but I can take them off the needle now. See how distracted we can get? <laughs> it's easy for, you know, to, to come in here and think you're going to, you know, spend, you know, 20, 30 minutes and pretty soon an hour or two has gone by. The art room, a place where time has no meaning. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> All right, tons of beads. Pretty, colorful. All right, I'm going to set them over here to finish drying and get back to what we were doing. And a glue page, a glue page, a glue page. I just rounded up all the glue pages and put them all in one spot and now I don't see the little folder I put them in. That's what happens when you start cleaning up. It's easy to get all spread out. Oh, here it is. Okay. Blue pages. All right, let's start with that. as always, using my Avery glue stick. And all I did was take eight and a half by 11 um, sheet of paper. I cut it in half long ways. And it's okay with me if both of the pockets are the same because, again, I don't really need to make one for myself like this because this is something I make all the time. <clears throat> I'm not going to forget.
think I saw these um, probably for the first time on Rachel's channel, Roxy Creations. So to me, they're a Rachel pocket. To Rachel, I think I recall her calling them Patty Pockets because the person that she originally saw them from, um, her name was probably Patty. <laughs> Patricia something. And I don't know Patricia. So, to me, they're just a wraparound, just a wraparound pocket. I'm going to call it a quadruple pocket. All right, if you were not doing a video, you may wait a little longer than I am uh, for the glue to dry. paper is so much happier when you cut it after it dries than it is when the glue is still wet. dries, but I don't think so. I often, I make these with book page, you know, just out of some lovely book page, but I had these um, papers sitting right next to me, so that's what we're using today. And then we simply fold them in half again. Very simple, very, very simple. Beginner friendly, simple. All right, so let's go over that. We cut our paper in half. We backed it with, with an additional paper. So we have the color on both sides. Uh, and then just folded it in half again. So we folded it first this way and then this way. Simple, simple, simple pocket. And then I think I will because we're doing it as a quadruple pocket, the pocket are going the pockets are going to be on the outside. On the outside, yep. So, let's see. I used up, I've been using up those scraps. So I don't have a lot sitting over here. We may have to use a whole new paper, which is good. It's fine. But not that one. How about this? I like that. Okay, and we want to put pockets on the outside. I'm not gonna do any exact measuring. I'm going to eyeball it like usual. It's junk journals that we're making. It's, we're not card making, it's junk journals. I don't think that um, having to be exact and precise about everything is necessarily uh, the way to go. I like 
my journals to look a little bit more organic, a little bit more, um, you know, a little bit more organic, like organic, you know, primitive. Would we say primitive? All right. So I will give you measurements just for anybody that's new. Again, it was eight and a half and 11, eight and a half by 11 page. Okay, cut long ways. Okay. And then folded. Okay, which after you, I trimmed off the white border all the way around, gives me uh, five and a quarter inches. So my pockets are going to be I'm going to, they're going to be maximum five and a quarter. Which we put it right about here. Yeah, I like mine to be a little bit more organic, primitive, however, whatever you'd like to call it. All right. only putting pockets on the front. The inside is going to kind of be glued down. So pocket, pocket, and let's get a different color for the other one. With this that's pretty I think I'm going to This is already backed. No, I'm going with this. Again, the height that I'm using on our this particular um, these particular pockets is about two and a quarter inches. I think I usually make these out of book page and I don't have to um, think about what color is going where. Some 
nice new scraps over there. All right, and let's back it. Because it's a pocket, we don't need anything too fancy, so we're going to use scrap paper to back these on too. Okay, again, <clears throat> we really should let the glue dry, but I'm not going to do that. Let me go ahead and cut these out, and then we can trim them up as needed. You know, when the camera's not rolling, it's very easy just to, you know, set it aside, let the glue dry, and, um, you know, pick up something else and keep working on something else. And when you're, you know, when the camera is rolling, one thing I don't want to do any more uh, frequently than necessary is to try and... Um, have to pause to let the glue dry or let the paint dry or, you know, those things because those videos that have to be stitched together through another program seem to take so much longer um, to upload than it does when it's just one single video. And I do use my iPhone And Apple provided no pause button. The craziest thing, one of the craziest things, one of two of the craziest things I can think of in my junk journaling experience is Apple not offering a pause button for video. I mean, it's so simple. Of course you're gonna have a pause button. You only have one job. 
let's get it done. Okay, now let's see. We may end up having to trim some, and we will. And that's okay. Let's see if I can find a pencil. Here we go. So I'm going to add my glue to about here. When I do the glue, I'll just lower the pocket just a hair lower than um, what I'm gluing onto and put my mark so that it's covered up. Uh, even though it is, even though it is pencil and can easily be erased, I just like to put a mark, add my glue, and then when you add the pocket, it covers up your little pencil mark. Let's do a little divot. the pockets. I'm using my whale tail punch because it's always handy. It's always on my desk. You can use a circle punch. In fact, most people do. vintage photo, do a little distressing. I felt this was a little bit loose right here. May have to trim this. May have to 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 resnip the um the corners, but that's okay. Just want to go ahead and get them distressed, and we can still trim as needed. I use Distress Ink. This is Vintage Photo from Ranger. It just takes some of the new off of the edges, covers up any, any white that's bright white and showing. I try to be careful not to over distress. I'm not um, not a grunge lover. Okay. So we'll put these on this one. And yes, it is going to require a little bit of a trim, and that's okay. We'll just trim it here. All right, there's that one.
But again, we did put our little pencil mark so we would know how far to, how far up to put the glue. The pocket covers up our pencil mark. Rachel, our corners. Right, there you have it and once we start putting um, tags in we'll just you know add a little tag here or here and let's get this one done it's our quick little project for the day cute 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 they always come out cute all right so again when I'm putting my pencil mark I just lower the pocket a little bit lower than I'm going to um, be gluing, mark my page, so I know how far up to put the glue. I'm using Art Glitter Glue because it's this nice thin stream and it's a nice strong glue. I already know these are going to be a little bit longer than my page, so I'm going to start on the inside. And then we'll trim as needed. Again, you can use scrapbook paper, you can use anything you like to make these pockets. I normally use book page, but this time I had the decorative paper right there and just decided to go with it. I usually just use the decorative paper on the pockets, not the folder itself just on the top pockets. Lightly distress. And there you have it. Our quadruple pockets. And the reason I call it quadruple is because it's four pockets. And to install them, let's find a page. We already have lots of pockets. Let's see where we have availability. I want it to be on a nice dirty page. All 
right? How about here? Oh, no, I don't want to put it here. I don't want to cover up. I don't want to cover this up. I just think that's so pretty. Well, I'm going to save that for whoever ends up with the journal to cover up if they choose to. I don't want to cover it up. All right, we're going to pick right here. And... You can leave this as a floating pocket. You can just clip it on here if you wanted to, but I'm gonna go ahead and glue it down on three sides, making it a pocket, not a tuck. Okay, quick and easy pockets. And when it's time to add tags, you'll have one pocket, two pockets, three pockets, four. I know I'm a little off screen. This is all stretched out here. Okay, and there we have it. This one's installed. And we will find some lovely tags to add to it in the next day or so because I really need to work on tags. You know what? This I see floating around. This needs to be installed also. Let's just go ahead and do it. We're going to make this one a tuck. A tuck is glued on two sides, a pocket on all three sides. All right, so there's that one. And the other, let's find a spot for the quadruple pocket in this one. Here, is that lovely? It can go on either side. It can go let's see. Ah, that works. Let's install it here. All right, now there is room left for embellishing if we were so inclined, but I don't think that I am going to do that. In this particular journal and the reason is I would like to save as much room as possible for I think the papers and, and such that we're using are lovely enough 
and I would like to save some room for whoever ends up with this journal to be able to really personalize it, really make it their own. They want to add a butterfly, a bird, or, um, you know, something from their daily routine. If they want to add that to the pocket, they'll be able to easily do that. Okay, and there you have it, folks. Quadruple prop pockets. Again, one pocket, two pockets, three pockets, four. Okay, I think that's going to do it for today. Thank you for joining me. Again, today was day six, and we're going to keep on rolling with our 100-day project. I will see you in the next video. Bye.